Hello, family neighbors. What's up? Neighbor family. What's up, neighbor family? Family neighbor. Neighbor family. Gotta be neighbors and a family. Hey, look at what we look what we got. Arizona tea, man. Raspberry. Good stuff. I don't know why this wheels. Somebody mess with till steering on this thing? Hmm. Interesting. Big tall cans, man. You really gotta bend your knees or legs for that sucker. Alright. Security coming on. We're going to hear the cameras going off. We got our headache pills that we've been forgetting for the past week. Finally got them in here. Somewhere I've seen a pair of glasses. So, we had three in here. Man, those are goobered up. Oh boy, hope everybody having a good day. I had a lady call me this morning. Ah! And it just quit raining. It was around 10, 10.30. Rain quit, quit around here. It's trying to get sunshine now. There is some uh, rain in the area by Toledo, but the way the radar shows, it's going northeast, straight up. They don't like it in an angle, but there is a little arm stretch out all the way to Mansfield, which is close to me, and it is uh, breaking up. So hopefully we're not going to get any more rain the rest of the day. If we do get rain, we get rain. We can't stop the damn stuff, right? Anyhow, the lady called me up and asked me when I'm going to mow the grass, and I said, well, just quit raining. I'm going to probably be there by, I don't know, in the afternoon sometimes, start mowing, you know. I still got uh, four in that area from uh, block seven to finish up. And at the end of next month, block seven is going to turn into block six because I'm gonna, I just lost the a countdown in that area because the house sold. So anyhow, I told a lady, I says, I'll be there when, when I can in that. And she goes, man, grass is a knee high. What? Grass is a knee high. I mowed the lawn last week. Grass was not a knee high. So I told her, I says, what the heck are you talking about? Hey, Jared, what's up, Debbie? All right. I've seen some, so I figured I'd check it out before I start heading down the street. Anyhow, she's trying to tell me that grass is a knee high, and it's been a while since I've been there, and I think she's going cuckoo on me. <laughs> so, in route, let's go. Let's get out of here. We are getting a little dark clouds here and there. Hey, if it rains, it rains. Can't do a damn thing about it, right? So, can't do a damn thing about it. As you see up in the sky, it's getting a little darker here and there, but that's probably that arm that's dissipating, so. Hopefully we're not going to get anything. We didn't really get much rain, to tell you the truth. We didn't get much rain at all. I mean, I don't have water puddles anywhere or anything. I just think it just dampened the ground a little bit. Which is fine with me. So I'll get the last four done. Then I got two more on top of that. And we'll see what my time is. Because there is another uh, three. I have to turn the air on because probably you guys ain't gonna hear me too much. There'll be another three, four more down in the other lower part of the northern part. Try to get all that done, but I don't know if we're gonna get it all done today or not. But we're gonna give it a hell of a good try. So. Give it a hell of a good try. Try to get stuff done. So, phones are charging. Cameras are on. I don't have my other Bluetooth headset plugged in. I'm not used to that. I'm used to taking batteries and put it in a headset. That's what we charge, you know, use to listen to. Hey, some of these people go around in a circle, don't even stop. I had one the other day. Had one yesterday, matter of fact. If you look at the, well, 
scratch that. In Route 94 was supposed to be yesterday. In Route 94 screwed up. So you can't look back, but one damn lady almost almost got me. She did not want to stop at all flying down the road. Ah, uh, she almost got me. I almost got her. Now there's a sign there that says yield. She didn't neither. I wish the hell that, well, the cameras on board here probably got it. Yeah, I shouldn't be running those today. Well, that'd be almost at the tail end. That might be okay. I gotta remember to change these suckers. Something like that comes up, but dash cams inside the truck should have captured that. Oh, I should have changed. I just thought about it. I should have changed the cameras, but did, uh, is that a truck and trailer up there in the uh -oh. It looks like it. I hate bicycles. Go to a darn. Okay, you can shut off the blinker anytime. Now we got a truck and trailer in the roadway here. This is gonna be fun. First time I seen one of those in the roadway over here. Alrighty then. Man, you see all crash stuff today, huh? Are we still on? Yes, uh, yes ma'am. We're we're still pecking here. We're still going. My good old farm horse, uh, farm house here with the white picket fence on the right here. She called me up and says, oh, you got it. Next time you come, you have to do the hedge trimming. I have to? Not really. And she goes, I don't know why you're not trimming the ditch line down there because I had it all cleaned out last year. Well, I try to call her back and tell her that I might be charging her to do the hedges. Right now, I'm trying to get all the time I can get to get these damn yard, yards mowed. She might have to wait on that. Uh, even the tool, tool I was using is in the shop, so I'm waiting on that to come back in. So, not like a line to or anything. I got other tools I could use. But, uh, just the way people, you have to do it. No, I don't. But back to the ditch line not being done, you don't see what's going on down there. Rocks, stumps, boulders, tree roots. I'm not trimming that stuff, would you? I ain't taking a trimmer down there, a high power trimmer, and get that crap on me. No. One part of the ditch line I could do, but the other part? No way. It is littered with all kinds of debris. And she paid good money for these guys to clean that shoreline up, and they didn't even do that. It is cluttered up with garbage and trash. And not trash, trash, but like I said, big boulders, little boulders, all kinds of stuff. It's like, dang, man. It is littered with stuff. I ain't taking my trimmer down there. I think she had to call him up and raise heck with him and say, hey, I paid you good money to get this cleaned out so I can have the guy trim it. And it is so cluttered up with crap, he ain't, ain't gonna do it. So it's gonna grow back up knee high or waist high again. And it's like, this lady wants me to do a lot of things for her and I'm barely making any money at this place. I mean, it's like, you gotta start forking out some more money because it just ain't gonna happen. I mean, she really pissed me off last year that she skipped on a payment because she told me not to mow the for the month of April. And she turned around and said, well, uh, we, we got all that rain in that, so I can't help it rain. So she threw that in my face. 
So last year I played it cool and everything. I went ahead and did the mowing. I did the hedge trimming and stuff. And I told her, I says, you know, in this hedge trimming, you should give me a little extra dollars. You know, a couple extra bucks might go a long way. And you get nothing. However, at Christmas time, I got a $20 bill. Well, thank you, but big deal. When you're out there with eight hedges and they're taller, taller than me, and I'm trying to cut them back down to my height or a little bit lower, you need to give me a little bit more, but I'm being nice to her. I've been, this is my 11th year mowing for her, but I, things gotta change. I mean, I can't keep doing stuff for free because I don't make any money that way. Of course, gas is down in price, but insurance is up, and still got overhead and stuff like that, and still got to pay for that stuff, you know? So, I don't know. I was thinking about giving her a call when I was cutting grass, because I tried to call her before, but she wouldn't answer, and the voicemail was all clogged up with messages, so... <laughs> it's one of those crazy deals. If I could find a couple yards to replace that one, I would definitely get rid of that one, because that one there is a pain in my ass. Hate to do it, but I can't do everything for free. She wants me to do the hedges for free. She wants me to trim the ditch line by the creek free. I'm there for three hours as it is. I don't need any to spend any more time there. The reason I spent so damn long there because there is a pasture there that the fence is falling in and it takes me over half an hour or so just to trim around it. And of all the wetness and everything, it's really more fun. So it's just one of those crazy ass accounts that it's just all screwed up. But yet, what she's paying, she thinks I'm making a lot of money on. Well, that's a bold mood, wasn't it? Wow. You guys seen that, huh? Pulled right out in front of me there. Had to get in that driveway, but wow. So what do you guys think? Should I just keep doing free stuff for this old lady, or should I charge? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, it, <laughs> I can't make any more money. I'm barely shit. By the time I get the lawn done, I'm barely, I'm not even making anything. It's like zero. But I'm doing the good neighbor thing, trying to keep the lawn going. Keep it, keep it looking good. What really pissed me off last year was, like I said, she told me, Oh, don't worry about mowing the lawn for April. That grass grow, grew two foot tall. And if you look at my archives and the videos, the Cub Kid 50... I recorded it, how tall that grass was. That little Cub Cadet 50 residential mower went right through the stuff. Only had to make two passes, and it was completely cut down. And that the mower deck is preset by the factory at three and a half inches. I tell you, that mower is small, residential. But I tell you what, that damn thing cuts the grass. And the lady that bought it this year, she really praises very good for that mower. She's like, wow, this thing really does a heck of a good... It, she said it does better than a John Deere riding tractor. So, <laughs> I'm just only telling you what she told me. I know some people like their John Deere's. Some people like their Cub Cadets. You know, we all have our, our little perks about what we like. And when people talk bad about stuff, we all get pissed off. But I'm only telling you what the lady told me. So, I don't feel I should have to do anything free anymore because I've been doing it for over 10 years. Just ain't making no money there. When I go to the gas station, her money's, no, her money's good for maybe a week to week and a half. And that's about it. It all depends on how much gas I got to get that that, that week. That, that, that week. So, 
It's crazy what people think you should do for free. You just can't do it. It's like, hey, <laughs> I got to make extra money in this. I can't do it. Hell, she had the neighbors one time go over there. My God. Hacked the whole damn thing up like crazy. Now it took months, months for it to grow back out. Uh, I just don't feel like I need to do stuff for free anymore, so. Uh, I get bored enough today, maybe I'll call her up and tell her, hey, I gotta charge you for this head streaming. I, I told her last year that this year I'm gonna start charging for head streaming. She had guys down there cleaning the creek out in that and left it a mess. She had to redo her uh, uh, septic system or whatever. I see a lot of stuff going on. I think I should get some extra money, you know? Like I, you know, that's like I told her. Just give me a couple extra bucks each month now and then. You know, to me, that goes a long way. Instead, normal payment, normal payment, normal payment, no extra, no extra, all season long. Then at Christmas time, I get a $20 bill. Well, thank you for the $20 bill. Appreciate it. But it'd been nice to get a little bit of extra cash during the summertime when I'm doing your head just for free. I, even five bucks more a month been a nice. Oh, I try to raise her up five dollars more a month and she fought over it. I'm like, come on, really? I told her what that lawn should be charged. And she checked with other lawn care companies and I'm the cheapest around. But it's like, <laughs> All I need to do is get a few more accounts and she gives me hell like this. See ya. I don't want to be ya. I don't want to be that way. I want to be the nice guy here. I think I am the nice guy. But it's just coming down to... <laughs> it's just coming down to dollars anymore. It, I just... I don't know. I'm not after a million dollars. That'd be nice if I could get that, but... And everybody on YouTube says, oh, you got to get your worth. You got to get your worth. Well, I tell you what, around here, you're not going to get your worth. I don't care who you are. There's so many landscapers in the, in this area that will hack you down to nothing. So sometimes you got to play hardball with these people. But a lot of times that kind of hurts them and you lose the job anyhow. But who in the hell are they going to hire when they're a lot more higher priced than what you are? something to think about so like i said let me know in the comments what you guys think i mean i think i'm worth a little bit more money than just doing it for free so let's see if i can park my old spot up here i used to park at years ago oh yes these three lawns are done i'm gonna park up here in my old spot where i used to park at because it's nice and shady. It looks like it did rain more here in town here than what it did in my area. It's okay, everybody. You have a great day. Take care. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.